Hello everybody again, uh, welcome back to part 2, well, welcome to part 2 of the Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition tutorial. And, uh, <coughs> my, my bad. In the last, uh, tutorial, we ba we made a button that says, Hello World, a message box that comes up when you double click, when you click on the button. And in this tutorial, um, the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to go even more advanced into this and make it so then that when you type in in a text box a certain uh, a certain word or whatever you would like to refer to it as and then you click hello world the button at least then the message box will come up saying correct password or whatever text again that you want so the first thing that you're gonna want to add on your form uh... is a text box and text boxes are pretty much as you would think a text box that you can write and read text into now what we want this command to do is we want it to when the, whenever the user hits clicks the button it's gonna check the text in the text box and if that matches up with whatever you want the secret password to be then it will say correct password or again whatever text you want so as i stated before the way visual basic works is that it executes it executes commands on on queue and the queue for button will be the queue is when you click the button so if we go ahead and double click the button we can get back into our code that we have for the button now what we're going to do is we're going to erase the message box uh, code that we actually put in there uh, in the last video. And what we want to do is if, now if commands can be a little tricky to understand, but what we want this to do is when you click it, it's going to say, okay, if whatever is equal to whatever, then perform whatever. And then if not, then blah, blah, blah. So an if command is basically if then else for you uh, in layman's terms, I guess, but... Uh, again, what it is is saying, okay, if blah 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 is blah blah blah, or is that blah blah blah, uh, then you're gonna do blah blah blah, or else blah blah blah. So that's how that works. I'm, I, I probably bu butchered that, but, so I'm just gonna write the command, and you'll probably see what I mean. So if text box one, and that is the name of the of a text box by default, is text box one, then it will go up to two, three, and then keep going up. So since we only have one, we're going to refer to the first one, then dot text. Um, I believe that's an argument. I believe that's what it's called. Um, that's basically saying whatever is in the text box, whatever text is in the text box. So this command will say if the text box one dot text, but what it's saying is, okay, okay, if the text in text box one is, then we'll put an equal sign to represent is, and then we would have to put in quotation marks uh, password then what this is saying okay if the text in text box one equals the word password then a message box is going to come up saying correct password so let's go into the bug this and make sure that this code is actually right so if we type password into the box, it should say correct password. Now if we don't, it won't do anything. So again, what this code is saying is if the text in text box one equals password, so if it's so if the text in the text box is password, then it's gonna come up with a message box saying correct password. But now we can also say if it's not but, and to do this, you type else, type, put a, a hit enter for a new line, then type else and hit enter again. Then it's going to say message box. Then, it's want, then we want to say uh, incorrect password. So again, I'll go over this one more time. If the text in text box 1 is password, then a message box coming up saying cor is, that says correct password. And then if it's not or else it's going to say incorrect password. So if it doesn't equal password, then it's going to say incorrect password. So now we can go ahead and debug this and type in password. And it says correct password. 
Now, if we don't type in the correct password, it's going to say incorrect password. And so, that is how an if or else command works. But what you can also do with this is that what you can do is far beyond just cr making a message box. Again, I'm only using this because it's the simplest thing I can think of off my head. But we can go to making, again, a text file. And if it's not a text file, and we can also say if it if there's nothing inside of the text box to to say please input uh, something in the text box but again this is just for the simplest for beginners and I'm gonna get into all of the other stuff in later videos so I hope that you guys found this video helpful again please remember to comment rate and subscribe preferably subscribe to see my future visual basic videos and remember I do take requests if you want to request a video for me I am more than happy to to do to do so, but also what I wanted to show is how to save and load projects. If you go to File and then Save All, it should usually the first time you save it, it should say what do you want to save it as. You can enter a name for it, and then as far as opening, just go to Open Project, and you have to select the folder folder with the name of the program, and double click the name of it dot sln. Okay, well, I am Nettle Perry, and I'm signing out. Please remember to comment and subscribe.